the solution to a two mark question that appeared as part of the sample paper given by CBSE in 2019 for class 10 math. It's from linear equations, a very easy question. For what value of p will the following pair of linear equations have infinitely many solutions? We've been given two equations in two variables. The only idea that we need to know, only concept that we need to know to solve this question is when will a system of linear equations in two variables have infinitely many solutions? For two equations of the form a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0, these two equations will have infinitely many solutions when a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2. So what we'll do is we'll plot what these a1, b1, c1 are in these two equations. Equate a1 by a2 to be equal to b1 by b2 and then repeat the same process here and pick a matching value and get to the answer through that. Right? What are the equations? The equations are p minus 3 into x plus 3y minus p equals 0. So a1 equals p minus 3, b1 equals 3 and c1 equals minus p. The second equation is px plus py minus 12 equals 0. So a2 equals p, b2 equals p and c2 equals minus 12. Let's start with the first process a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2. So that would translate to p minus 3 divided by a2 is equal to a p. This is equal to b1 by b2 which is equal to 3 by p. Cross multiply and solve for it. So we'll have p times p minus 3 equals 3p. Expand this, we'll get a p square minus 3p on the left hand side. Take the 3p from the right hand side. So it's going to become p square minus 6p equals 0. Take p as a term common outside. So we'll get p into p minus 6 equals 0. So what all values can p take? p can either be a 6 or p can be a 0. Let's repeat the same exercise with b1 by b2 to be equal to c1 by c2. So b1 by b2, b1 is a 3, b2 is a p. We have done it as the second part of this. This is equal to c1 by c2, which is minus p divided by minus 12. Minus p by minus 12 is nothing but p by 12. Cross multiply and solve for it. We'll get p square equals 36. So what are the values that p can take if p square equals 36? p could be a 6 or p could be a minus 6. The value of p that matches in both these ratios is when p equals 6. That's the answer to the question. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. These are the equations given to us. We're equating a1 by a2 to be equal to b1 by b2. We've got two values for p, p equals 0 or p equals 6. Running through the same exercise with b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2. We've got two values for p, plus or minus 6. The value of p, which is common to both these ratios, is plus 6. So the value of p is equal to 6. Do two things before you leave. Sign up at online.maxitude.com and get started with your CBSE online coaching for class 10 maths. Takes all of three steps and less than five minutes to get started with this coaching. And before you leave, do one more thing. Subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash Spread the word among your friends and classmates.